You ready, man? Ready. Are you ready? Break it down! <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Indian Challenger Elite. Yo, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Indian Challenger Elite. Absolutely cool bike. Beautiful. Um, I really like what Indian's doing and the direction they're heading with this. Um, just making a, a special limited bike um, and taking something from their platform and just making it even better or more special. It's just uh, pretty cool. We'll dive into the little specs um, and then we'll compare it to the regular Dark Horse, see what makes this bike different from the Dark Horse and uh, what makes this bike so special at that. Um, first we'll start with our thoughts. I think, uh, just let everyone know what we think about the bike. Um, paint job, we were just talking about the paint job before. Yeah, I'm not paint a- Paint job was sick. I, 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 when I first saw the paint job, I'm like, that's really nice. I said, I'm, but I'm not a big fan of matte paint jobs just because they're very hard to take care of and you gotta watch if you scratch them and everything like that. But that being said, the blue with the black, it just, it's awesome. It I does. Love it. I love it. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks really good. I'd love to see it in person. I've only seen pictures. I can just imagine what it looks like in person. But it's a, it's a, it's a very limited bike. What, what are we at? Uh, 150. 150 worldwide. Yeah, never even is that for, that. is it for world or is it? US. I'm not for sure. US. I'm not sure. Um, it's probably going to be like one, like, I don't even know how many dealers there are. So maybe one per dealer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe there's 150 down. dealers, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but it's, um, I mean, even looking at the paint, that paint is just beautiful, The paint's man. badass with that, the silver, with the, yeah. Oh, man. The, the, the way that, that silver line breaks up the black and the blue. I love the front rim, too, the five spoke. The rim is nice. I, I like the fact that they changed the wheel, uh, so mm -hmm. that, that's one thing that's different. We'll, we'll get into what makes it different, but that's one thing that obviously stands out a lot. Um, just the, the, whole, the whole paint job is really, really good. I think they did a great job with it, man. All right, so let's just dive into everything and see what makes this bike different from the Dark Horse. So uh, the Indian Challenger Dark Horse starts at $28,999 and then the Indian Challenger Elite is at $35,999. So obviously a big bump from there. Um, but th this bike is obviously a bit more special. Well, what do you say, at, would, you think it'll be safe to say that this will be kind of like the CVO? Yes, it'd be like, be like this Indian version of a CVO for $10,000 less than a Harley. Yeah, because I mean, you guys that, you know, Harley charges a lot of money for their CBO bikes. I mean, they're, they're, they're special bikes at that, you know, they're, they're just so many, so much things that make those bikes different and very special. Um, so this, when we look at this, this is what we think of. It's like, all right, this is the CBO version of it. Yeah. But like you said, for a lot cheaper than what you can get, let's say a Roadline CBO, you know? Like, yeah, I mean, because the Challenger Dark Horse 28999, that's about what a special cost. Yeah. You know, a street glider, road glide special, that's about what it's supposed to cost. Yeah. Not counting all the fees. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see what makes it different here. So, uh, talk about, let's talk about audio. Audio premium, 400 watt power band audio system on the Elite and on the Challenger, regular Challenger, you just have the 100 watt audio system. Yeah, so, obviously, so a, a big times. bump right there. Really, really cool. Um, engine, we are looking at the same 122 horsepower, 128 pounds of torque nothing different there um gauge da, 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 apple carplay same thing with that um passenger da, 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 that same thing right there as well well the seat's different uh it's a custom yes. stitch seat um it seems and, pretty nice actually yeah it is it is some close-up shots of that it looks really good um they both come with remote locking saddlebags which is like CBO I mean, I, I, I wish, yeah, like the CVOs do that, mm -hmm. but but you know what? The, the regular Dark Horse has it too. Mm -hmm. So it's like something on my 21 Road Glide special. I, I wish I you had, it, yeah. It should have, like, I don't know. But it's pretty cool that Indian does that. Um, style and trim, okay, so the, this is where everything gets a, <clears throat> a bit different, right? So style and trim, you get the custom inspired paint color, um, the spike, uh, the five spoke front wheel, the uh, adaptive headlight in the front, um, LED headlight, but this was different. Comes with the with the fog lights as well. That's pretty cool. 
um, LED driving lights, uh, full power band audio, um, and then floorboards. It comes with nice styled floorboards for it as well. They look really, really nice. I saw pictures with those. Those look good. Um, passenger floorboards, heated grips. Um, and then I did see that they come with, with the rear lights on the on the bags in the back as well too. Yeah. I, I don't know if that was an extra addition or not, but that, that was that looked really nice and pretty cool. Um, I think that's. Let me see. Besides that, everything else kind of matches up with the um, dark horse. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, no. We got a uh, smart lean technology. Mm -hmm. uh, so and, and uh, honestly, it's it's just all looks. It's not a a, a high performance bike. So one thing that Harley does with the CBO is that the CBO does get a bigger motor as opposed to the regular wow. baggers. Well, with the exception of the ST, that's yes, brand yeah, new. Yeah. Dabbing into 2023, we don't know what yeah. Harley might do with that. Um, but as far as Indian, what they're doing here is it's basically just looks. Um, not so much uh, different power chains or anything, which I think would have been and better cool. stereo. Yeah, better stereo and looks. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty cool bike. It looks beautiful. It definitely stands out. Yeah, it's pretty badass looking bike. Um, can we talk about your current plans right now with your bike? Or no? Yeah, we could. I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we could wait. Okay. We'll wait. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to change Jerry's mind here and see if he uh, finally gets an Indian. <laughs> we're trying to persuade him. Um, this is why we're doing this video? <laughs> I don't know. No. Um, okay, so overall pricing, what, what do you think? Do, do you think that the changes on the Elite, do um, you think everything adds up to it? Um, like when, we, when you look at the regular uh, Dark Horse and the Elite, you think that, hey, you might go for the Elite because of just the paint job and little stuff it brings with I don't know I'd have to I'd have to see like I probably would go more towards the um, like a, a, a shinier paint job like a um, yeah like the limited they have or whatever like the dark horse limited not the with the black motor but with like like a shinier blue paint job or gray yeah. or something like that they have some really nice um, paint jobs like riding fishes pursuit has got that white and the black which I think is sweet I mean, this is a nice paint job or whatever, but I don't know if it would sway me to spend go that much more, that much more, or whatever. When I can go into like a pursuit for you know, get the, the tour pack and the bigger seat and all that stuff. To yeah, I mean, you could just always just get a dark horse and then, you know, get your own custom paint job as well. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's nice. Don't get me wrong. I'm never and then it's the nicer stereo and everything, but like, I don't know if it's enough to make me spend the extra seven grand plus they're limited so who knows if you could even get one they might be all sold by now yeah one thing i know is that it is a cool bike so yeah very cool kudos to indian for for doing that I really like what indians are right now um 2023 models are out the ftr oh FTR. beautiful the ftr sport the white with the red is I'm, I'm a fan of the I'm a fan of the the, the carbon with, with the uh, with the gold trim on it like that. that I like the carbon sick. too, but I think the S has my eye with the white with the, the red. white and the red. That, yeah. that's pretty sick. It's pretty that cool. Really, really, really cool. sick. Really cool. I want to see what other different colors they come out with the Chief this year and see if they're going to change anything. I doubt they're going. to, Yeah, I mean it's very late. Then I change I mean, anything on the Chief. The good thing is they might come out with other models. Yeah, like mid-year another, models. Another another elite or something special like a limited edition. You know, they still got the Jack Daniels bikes to be doing too. Those yeah. are the super, super limited edition. Yeah, that'll be later on. Um, I, I, I want to see them do something really cool with the Chief. Yes. You know, I want to see something, you know, taking the Chief and do something really cool with it, making a special, you know, like like a S model of it, like a special version. Like, you know, we've got a low rider, low rider S, like you should have the Chief. Yeah, and yeah. The, like a performance version would be yeah, kind of yeah. cool. Instead of like a crew, you know. Yeah, just doing something very special with I that. I can run. see them doing that. They're going, they're going pretty good. Like I, even the FTR to redesign was like, oh my god, it looks really good. And the roaming, I mean, they did a good job with the road last year. Yeah. With the upgrades, you know, yeah, taking Scott that Rogue. bike from the Scout to the Scout Road, like it's a that was a a really huge upgrade. I well, mean, I said, oh, you're rogue. You're like, oh, the only difference is the tire. And until you got one, and you're riding it, then you're like, oh yeah, it is a difference. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge difference, man. I really like that bike. I still have the bike here as well, so we're still making some content with it, little by little. Um, but I absolutely love that bike. It's a, a fun, fun bike. So yeah. Indian, 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 Indian's doing some good stuff, man. You might see an Indian in my garage in 2023. We, you know, no. I'm trying to persuade him right now. We man. gotta, I like, gotta wait till January 2nd to make my decision. He, he, he wants to see what Harley's gonna come out with to then be like yes or no. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> That's exactly what I'm waiting for. Oh god. Uh, I wish they would all came out at the same time. Like now, now this. Well, they used to before. They used to. Now we're like waiting. Yeah. So. It is what it is. Um, what do you guys? What are your thoughts and your comments on the new Indian Challenger Elite? Do you guys like it? Uh, are you guys a fan of Challengers at all? Um, me myself, I have my 21 Rogue Glide right here, which I'm little by little building out. Um, baggers right now, obviously, are, are the the biggest spectrum for both Indian and Harley. I mean Harley Davidson at that. Yeah. Um, the Rogue Glide is just it sells like crazy, and obviously the huge comparison to the Challenger is the Rogue Glide. And I, I, I got this whole thing, performance bagger looking trend going on with my my bagger right now. Um, I just want to see more people do more content with challengers as well. I, I feel like it, it's just not enough out there. Um, but I think people are starting to grow yeah. more to close to it. You see, to more, you see a lot more Indians out there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the brand's growing, you know, they're opening more dealerships and they're reaching out to different people now. So it's, you know, a few years from now, who knows, man? Exactly. Who knows? Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. So, uh, like I said before, drop your thoughts and comments down below. These are just our thoughts on the bike. Uh, hope you guys like this. And if you want to tune in for more stuff, I got my 21 Road Glide over here, my 1983 FXR, and my 2020 Low Rider S on that side. And Jerry has some bikes in his garage, but we'll leave that for another episode. Anyways, like always, ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.